quick video today because RAM has just dropped some new images of the RAM HD models. We're gonna have a look at what this looks like. I still think this is the best looking truck on the market today. All RAMs over GMC, Chevy and uh, Ford, specifically the Ford heavy duty trucks with this worm like design that they have in the front end now. I'm not just, I'm just not a fan of that. This looks so much better. So we're gonna have a look at this article. We don't have a lot of information yet on the HD trucks, such as the powertrains and so on. I do think it's still going to have the V8. Uh, inline 6 and a 1500 is fine, but having the inline 6 in the uh, HDs, I don't know if that makes sense. I, I still want to see the V8s in, uh, in these trucks. So first of all, let's have a look at this article from Car and Driver, and then I'm going to show you um, the different designs you can have with the new uh, 2025 Ram HD. So trucks... Uh, show their sleeker faces ahead of full reveal. This article is linked down in the description. The refreshed Ram 15, uh, 2500 and 3500 will, re will receive a restyled grille and thinner, more modern headlights. And I can't really tell if these are bumper headlights right here uh, because they are split in the middle. You have the daytime light up here. And then I do think this top piece is actually the main headlight. So as I said, the headlights are, the, are split into two thinner elements. I think it looks so cool. I love this color as well. The Hemi V8 has departed from the 1500 replaced by a new twin turbocharged inline six offered in two uh, states of tune. Either we have the 420 horsepower or 540 horsepower. Now for the heavy duty lineup, we're going to have to wait and see if they stick with the V8 again, which I said, I hope they do. So the bulky headlights of the outgoing truck has been split into two thinner elements, which are incorporated into the grill on the off road oriented rebel, which is definitely my favorite uh, trim for the 2500. And that is this one right here. The grill is completely blacked out to create a mask like front end and features a series of vertical and horizontal uh, strakes. The lower bumper design of the Rebel appears to carry over unchanged, which is uh, fine because it still has a steel bumper down there. So you don't really need to redesign it. It still has the functionality that you want in a Rebel. At the rear, the taillights have a simpler look with a C-shaped uh, LED unit. You can see that right here. I think it's a beautiful looking design, this truck. I mean, it, it's such a... Uh, it's, it's a simple design, but it's also a pretty, specifically the rear end, just looks classy and it looks like the old Ram uh, 1500s and 2500s from, uh, from the mid-2000s, just in a modern way. Ram showed off uh, a front image of three trucks with a white model that Ram says is a chassis cab configuration and a red truck with more luxurious trimmings. The white truck uh, likely represents a base model tradesman and features a simpler grille. You can see that right here in the middle uh, with horizontal lines and headlights with halogen bul bulbs instead of LEDs. And that is something that by 2025, do we really need to, you know, still stick with halogen uh, light bulbs like old edison light bulbs and not just put leds on you know the base models as well because it makes the, any car look so much more modern you can see the differences here this looks like an old design already just because we don't have the led headlights here or daytime run lights like we have in the black and the red one here so the red truck might be a laramie or longhorn model with chrome bright work in the grill and a body colored grill surround you can see that right here looking pretty nice uh, not sure if i would want it in red though so as of now ram hasn't spilled the beans on any technical aspects of the new hd models but a full reveal will come later it's possible uh hopefully they stick around with a 6.4 liter v8 in the heavy duty applications, the Cummins diesel 6.7 liter inline six will also carry over into the new HD models. We know that, but it's unclear if they'll benefit from any enhancements. It might just take the old powertrains and just slap them into these new 2025 model years here. Now, if you look at the interiors and the upgrade that the 1500 got for 2025, they did receive a standard 12 inch unit up from 8.4 inches in 2024 uh, for 2025. And then you have the optional 14 and a half inch uh, display and also an available 10.3 inch uh, display for the passenger so it sits right in front of the passenger i did make a full review of the new 2025 ram rebel which uh, with the inline six which i really like it's such a good truck 
uh, go and check that out on the sketch monkey channel if you want to some more details on the 2025 ram hd will arrive in the coming months so with that said let's jump into photoshop here and have a look at what we have uh provided to us from Stellantis here when it comes to the the new uh Ram uh, uh 2500 and on the right on the left here you can see the new um Rebel and this is as I said this is definitely the one I would pick the only thing that I would change here are the wheels I think the wheels look a little bit too small I'm not sure if these are actually 35s uh, if they are 35s, they still kind of look a little too small, but it still looks very cool. You can put 37s on here, I believe, no problem whatsoever. And the front end just looks like a transformer. It's so cool. We have this bulky hood here looking very beefy, muscular, and some beautiful chamfers going around the headlights here. This is the new split headlight that we have for the new uh, 2500s or 2025. So I do believe that we do actually have bumper headlights here if you can call this by it's not really in the bumper but you do have a split uh, segment here which seems to be a trend now bmw is doing that with a lot of models and we've seen bumper headlights since here and they introduced it in uh, like five years ago so i do believe that this is actually the main headlight sitting down there and up top we do have this beautiful daytime light with a very nice led what i like about this is the led it's just one single line and I like designs like this because it makes it feel almost stately and very robotic but super cool when it has this blue uh, tone to it. You also have a brand new grill. The 2500 grill obviously sticks out a lot higher or it's a lot taller than the one you find on the 1500s but still have this typical uh, ram design with these dips on the sides and then you have a, a second air uh, air intake right here. You also have a third one down here at the bottom. So this section down here, this bumper section seems to be carried over from the 2024 model here as again again it, it's totally fine because it's completely made out of steel you have the uh the fog lights integrated right there some tow hooks in the front end as well the overall design for this i think it looks very very cool you need to have these positioning lights up top since the truck is um I think wider than 88 inches, which this definitely is. You also have some marker lights here on the uh, side mirrors. Now looking at the rear end here, and this is, again, this is such a clean design. I love what uh, Ram did with this line for the 2019 model. This came out in 2019. Pre-2019, this was just one straight line like this. And having it be a little bit more automotive in the rear end, it's, it's just a small little detail to have a curvature like this instead of having just a, a straight line. But I think this is a very cool little detail because the rear end of trucks is not very easy to... Uh, uh, design because everything needs to be super functional you basically just have a tailgate here that needs to pop open obviously and then you have the taillights can't really stick in too much into the tailgate it's going to add a lot of cost to the production so you want to keep them outside of the tailgate and i do think uh, ram again is the one that makes the, the does the best job designing uh, trucks at least when it comes from an aesthetic standpoint i personally it's it's a matter of taste of course but me personally i always thought that the ram trucks look the best so looking at the lineup here we have the tradesman here in the middle so the base model in the middle you can see the differences here between the base model and the the rebel on on the side here and clearly the rebel is uh, much more aggressive looking and also looks a lot more modern because we don't have the daytime run, run light up here i don't know how much it would cost to just add this daytime run light that we have on the rebel onto the base model trades on here but i would i would pay 500 dollars extra for you know just to have it look more modern than what we have here and we have some indicators down here i do believe this is the indicator so the entire setup for the headlight unit for the tradesman is completely different to what we have on the longhorn on the on the right here which they said it might be on the laramie uh, and the tradesman and it, it feels like uh, the, the tradesman in the middle is just pretty much a work truck and that's basically what the name suggests as well but it looks like you still have the steel bumper down here steel bumper looks to be almost identical to the one we have on the rebel in addition on the tradesman here we do have this little arrow flap down here lip at the bottom that we don't have on the rebel because you don't want to have this in the bottom here to kind of scrape on any 
uh, trails that you're going to take your big uh, Rebel 2500 on. I'm not sure how many people are actually going to take it on the trails because it's such a massive truck. Now, last but not least, we do have the Laramie Slash um, big horn right here, and it looks pretty cool. The difference is here is that, of course, we do have body colored pieces here, so it needs to look a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more classy than the off road uh, rebel and the work uh, tradesman. So, this looks pretty clean as well. It's not something that I, I would pick because I'm not a huge fan of these big chrome pieces that we have going here in the middle of the grill. But thankfully, they didn't skimp on the headlight design here. We still have the same sort of headlights that we have have in the rebel meaning that we do have the daytime light up here the split uh, section here you can clearly see it more more clearly here when you have it in red how these two pieces are split off i also like how the uh, headlights move into the design of the grill so we have a connection here into these slots in the grill not really up top because this doesn't have a clear connection to what's going on there up top with the ram logo so overall uh, looking forward to see what the powertrains are going to be for the new uh, 2500. But when it comes to the design, again, Ram just nailed it again with the 2500 and 3500 HD trucks.